Good morning, amigos. I'm Hilda from Low Carb Adventures. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to be making French toast. And just a little background. I used to, we used to go every Saturday morning to this restaurant that we loved and I would always have my French toast with the strawberries and berries and I would always look forward to it. Well, of course, when I decided to get healthy, I couldn't have that anymore. And I mean, I just learned to not have it anymore, which was pretty sad. But then I started researching and thought, you know what? I want it again. So I have actually researched different uh, recipes and I have come up with some low carb options, which makes me super happy. And I am going to share with you the one that I have felt has been probably the best one. Okay, so let me start by giving you the ingredients that you will need to make your bread because you will need to make your own bread since bread is very carby. We are going to use one eighth cup of almond flour. We're going to use three eggs, two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, three and three quarts tablespoons of melted butter, a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of sweetener, in this case, monk fruit. You can use allulose or a uh, substitute that you would prefer that's low carb, and a tablespoon of vanilla. So we are going to start mixing our bread to make the bread. So I'm going to start with putting in my almond flour. I'm going to put three eggs. Then I will put in my melted butter. baking powder, sweetener. I'm going to start giving it a little mix to make my batter. And I'm going to go ahead and put in My vanilla extra. And add a little pinch of salt. And you mix it all. So I have been mixing my bread batter and what I did is I got a loaf pan and I lined it up with aluminum foil just so that I won't make a mess. <laughs> and I have parchment paper and I will put it in there and spray it with a little bit of avocado oil. and I will pour my batter into it. Uh, also, I forgot to say, you need to preheat your oven to 350. And so I'm putting my batter in and make sure that it is evenly distributed. Okay, so I have now the batter in and evenly distribute it. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon on top as well. This is optional and it is not necessary. Okay, so I am now going to put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And 
and we are going to start on our puree that's going to go on our French toast. Okay, so now I am ready to make my preserve and I had some frozen berries, but we went ahead and we defrosted them for about two minutes. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and put out, I'm going to put my stove to about medium to low setting. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in my pot. I have two tablespoons of sweetener. And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it all together till it becomes a syrupy preserve. As you can see, it has reached a boil and it is now a puree. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the bowl, back into the bowl, just to make it easier for when my bread is ready. Mmm. And this is what my puree looks like. So it's been about 20 minutes and yes, looks like our bread is ready. So I'm going to take it out and let it cool for a little bit. And meantime, we will be doing our milk mixture that we will be putting it in. And we're almost done. Okay, so now that the bread is out, we're going to go ahead and start with our bread mix, I mean milk uh, mixture. And this is what we're going to be pouring the bread into to make our, so it is one half cup of almond milk. And I'm going to get ahead and put one large egg. And finally, a half tablespoon of vanilla extract. And a teaspoon of cinnamon, which I kind of like cinnamon a lot. <laughs> My husband's face, I like a lot of it. You don't have to have that much. It, the recipe goes for one eighth. I put a little bit more. <laughs> That is entirely up to you. And here is my mixture. And you just give it a good mix. And it is ready to, I will show you what the bread is going to look like once I cut it. This is the mixture. So I, this is the bread. It's been cooling a little bit. And I am going to start slicing it. You can make, and this is what it starts looking like. Once it is cut into pieces, you can make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want. I'm making mine a little bit thick because French toast is thick. And this is the texture of your bread. So now I am going to start dipping it in and putting it into my pan. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil in my pan. And then I'm going to start dipping my bread. in my bread mixture. Okay, so I am mixing my egg mixture. Mm. 
Yeah, baby, that's got some good color on it. That's good. So this is what our French toast looks like after it's been golden and cooked. And now I'm just going to put all the yumminess on it. Here it goes. I'm putting my preserves on them. Um, you can also put sugar-free syrup if you choose to. I rarely use it on my French toast, but you are more than welcome to put it if you would like. And I also put some, uh, a little bit of Cool Whip. If you look at the ingredients, it has one gram, less than one gram of sugar. And as far as the carbs are, it has very little, it has one gram. So I put very, very little, only because I want it to be. And then I went ahead and cut some. This is also optional, just to make it a little bit prettier. And I put a little bit of berries. This is all, of course, optional. So we are going to take a quick picture of our French toast and then I will come back and do the taste test. And so now it is time for the taste test and you don't know how excited I am. I am so excited. I haven't had French toast in forever because it's so high in carbs. Anyway, so I'm trying to get a little bit of everything into one bite and here we go. Mmm. Just as I remember. It is really, really good. If you want French toast back in your life, this is the recipe for you.